Greetings, I'm Caffeine George. I'm back with more of a Let's Play SteamWorld Dig 2. Last time we got further into the Temple of the Destroyer, and now we are doing a, another little thing. Oh. Okay, that seems bad. Jerk. Screw you. Okay. And now pull the lever. Oh, really? Only the first one? Or second one? Or whatever. Okay, so. Oh. See, that's why I got the lava resistance. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, so I'm imagining it's. Oh, look, it's down here. So, uh, drip, jump. Drip, drip, jump, jump. Surprised I didn't count against me there. Okay. So, drip, jump. Drip, jump. Oh! Okay. That's bad. Yeah, let's uh, not stick around and ask any questions about that. Oh, well, thank you. Health. Oh, great. Uh... Right. So... Run. I want to do it up here. Come on. You know you want to. Come on. What are you, a chicken? Okay, is that going to activate that? Yes, it is. You know, let's just hang out here. <laughs> I am smart. Ooh, that looked painful. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I don't kill these guys, I just let them cool off. Interesting. I didn't really see any place obvious for the uh, for the secret though. So I'm not gonna worry about it. For now at least. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. Uh, only slightly exploded there. Jerk. Right, your glitz learn? Not even once. Oh, we are running out of light. I just realized that. So, back to town. 
Thankfully, it's not too far off. Let there be light. Oh, God, I was quoting God there. Okay, 186. So, Lantern. Kind of wonder what Summoner does. Let's get it. So, let's see. Summoner. Has a chance of spawning an extra light orb from defeated enemies. Well, take it. Yeah, we're, I guess we're on the right path. Okay, that's where we got through and did that. I have to admit that it's a little disconcerting when those things start rumbling because the rumble feature of my controller starts going off. Yeah. Getting a little bit of like frame drop. Oh, get away. Not sure if I'll get this or not. Oh, yeah, I will. Okay. Oh, there is a another teleport tube. The hanging lava garden. We'll just pop back to town, top off, and sell. This we're up to half a uh, inventory space, so may as well, right? <laughs> But hey, we're making progress now. We're cooking with gas. Or lava. Oh, this is a bad place to be. Okay, continue digging down. Not my most... Brilliant of moments, but I had to be fair, and that's what I could say for a lot of Steamworld dig. Hello. Oh boy. I remember the sprint. Okay. Oh. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at this. Okay. Abuse that. Oh. 
Oh, really? Yeah, sometimes the game feels like it just doesn't want to hang on at times. Ah. Hey, we made it. Barely. I did terribly on that. But to be fair, ugh, I'm not much of a fan of the platforming in this game. It's just the momentum and it makes it... Makes you have to be a lot more precise in what you really need to be. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get back to town. There we go. But yeah, it's just a weird momentum that I really dislike. I mean, it's not game-breaking, it's just... It makes my lackluster platforming abilities a lot more lackluster. We only have one upgrade we're missing now. Or one tool, I should say. Actually... Uh, we only have one cog. I mean, we could always uh, pull cogs out of other things and get the portal apart, but I'm not sure if we could go directly back to it. Okay, there we go. Through, over. Oh. Easy, easy. Not this. Okay. Ah! Oh, I angered that one. Well, that's one way to get further in. There is a portal upcoming. to see it flashing there on the map. I'm not sure if we've been having that in... Ooh. Okay, this looks uh, definitely going to no return. So we'll just do this, so... Up to 2.11. Okay, so back down we go. Actually, let's poke around here a little bit first. Yes, Finn? That's one big pool of molten minerals. The cult was really into this whole fire and doom stuff. I can't uh, cross that without melting. Maybe you could dip your foot in and see. It might not be that hot. I have to be fireproof. Or if you're cool like me, you could just fly across. Okay, so I guess that's our last ability. Uh, being fireproof. I mean, we're temporary fireproof, but I doubt we're fire enough proof. Let's check this way. Oh. Ah, that's our destination. Oh, this doesn't look promising. Who dares stand before the great prophet of the destroyer? Hey, I know that guy. He's the one that brought me uh, the, to the other temple. Guardian Light, why are you with this unworthy uh, bot of my temple? Where's Rusty? What have you done with him? As I foretold, Rusty the Destroyer 
will bring the great quake and shed our mortal, mortal coil. He granted us a doomsday device. He left again, for his ways are mysterious. And dot 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 from dot. I must say about that thing. Yeah. Tell us why you've hidden the doomsday device. So we'll blow it up. Oh, guardian light, how you've fallen. I will not let you two ruin our precious apocalypse. Ah, oh, great. So, and now we have to run. Come back here, you. Now where is he? Well, I got a couple of hits on him. Where, where did he go? Oh, I hear him. over here. Screw you. Ah, you can't stop the great quake. The doomsday device is still secure. The end is nah. Oh, that's promising. Confront the prophet done. Disabled doomsday device. We have one hell of a checklist, don't we? Okay, so... Oh! Upgrades! Is this fireproofing? I hope it's fireproofing. Please be fireproofing. Because I'll be totally hot. Ignition axe. Okay... Oh, it's going to turn these guys on. And then we wait. Oh. Shit, I should have, uh... Been waiting up, uh, at the top there. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's back Go along. And up we go. Oh, look, another one. Oh. And we wait for him to path. We hide out down below. Because this doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Out my head. Out my head. <laughs> Don't mind me. Let's see. Oh, it's just down there. You know, for being secure, it's really close by. And, you know, easily marked on my map. I imagine. Ah, yes. So, throw the switch. Come on, still nothing? We just have to light more uh, brochures. Must be around here somewhere. Alright, let's go torch them already. Ooh. Is there any of this away? Oh.
Oh. Ah, there's one. Ah, okay, I didn't notice the other two. That would be why it didn't work. And now we wait, and wait, and wait some more, and drop down. Is there anything up here? Oh, yes there is. Well, hello. We oh, don't worry, the lava broke my fall. Okay, so now this should work. Probably should go back to town and replenish my light, though. Yes. Go replenish my light. Don't really have anything to sell. But we do have some talkie talkie bits. Who could have guessed those dingbat cultists uh, had so many riches beneath that old ruin? Should have started digging there years ago. Sure, I've heard the ruins are occupied by crazy cult worshipping and the uh, worshipping the end of the world, but their business and I ain't one to pry in other bots affairs, you see. Okay, so I imagine you're gonna comment on my flamey flamey axe. Whoa, is that what I think it is? How on earth did you get a hold of an addiction axe? I bet it was hidden away somewhere in the Eastern Temple. No, just because you saw me going there last, right? I've read about it in one of my tool magazines. Would that be porn for a robot? I'm, I'm just asking, I'm just asking. Uh, the possibility of that thing still existing, I just can't believe it. Um, It's really nice. Well, you don't talk about a, a girl's tool like that. It's rude. So we didn't unlock whatever that is. We have something new. Ah, alright, so I could turn it on and off at will, but why would I want to turn it off? I mean, it's a flaming axe. That uh, crazy temple cult seems to be protecting some sort of doomsday device. Is that what's causing all these unnatural shivers? Hey now, this is clearly somebody else's problem. The mayor's office can't be expected to deal with end of the world scenarios. My main job is to get the bot's precious stones out of the mine and tax them for it. You're the one in charge, idiot. You ran for this darn office, now do something about it. Hey, the girl bot's already been to the temple, she could just head back there and disable that device. And problem solved. Now. Don't forget to bring back more of those precious stones, dearie. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of padding the end of the episode, doing all the little talky talky bits. The call is protecting some sort of dues, David always uh, generating the quakes. Then your next ship uh, should be to dismantle the generator. That might stop these earthquakes. Yeah, dismantling sounds like fun. Let's do it. I mean, I even have to complete the construction of this rocket. I have a feeling that's a negative. Negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is cool. Okay. Have you seen the prof uh You have to. Uh, you have. Have you been to see Professor Sherman's new rocket yet? Yeah, it's a real beauty. Yeah, sure, it's impressive. And it's perfectly safe. I helped with all the calculations and all. It takes a lot of pressure to send something like that into space. You know, you could just. You must. It must be precisely calibrated down to the last decimal. I mean, uh, it comes down to, uh, to it. It's really just a big bomb, isn't it? I like uh, the, where this is going. Why don't we ask the professor to hitch a ride? <laughs> oh, I, I, it's growing on me. You know, like a fungus or a rash. It'd been nice to 
It would have been nice to meet that uh, feller who saved your little town. I didn't really have uh, any pressing business uh, there during that particular chunk of time. What did you say his name was? Krusty? No, Trusty. That's it, wasn't it? Krusty. Right, right. So he shut down some sort of giant monster down there all by himself, and then just gone up and disappeared? Oh, happy search of Worm Dot. I sure hope you find him in good health. Make sure more, more upgrade cogs. That's a hundred uh, now, so it's quickly uh, escalating, but we are getting to the point where we're getting more and more money as well, so it's the upgrade cycle. Ow. Ow, my kettle bottom. Have you talked to that cookie professor uh, building the rocket high up in the city? I heard uh, she inherited a lot of money, but now spending it on all that, all that on a spaceship. What a waste. Uh, we had uh, someone like that back in the village putting together a rocket. Must, have been so must be something going around, don't you think? I bet this one's the fanciest one, though. The one back home was just a converted silo. Alright, well, we are pretty much done here. I am going to start heading down here. Just to get a little peek at well, what's going on, since we have a couple minutes left before cutoff time. Oh, uh, that is. Maybe we could do the device of doom. Oh, talk to Finn. Oh, this must be the doomsday device. I really don't want to believe Rusty could do something like this. Seems like a lot like a uh, Vectrotron parts uh, in this thing. Let's smash it. Oh, that was it, really? <laughs> that was great. Yeah, looks pretty harmless now, doesn't it? Uh, there's a lot of steam pod and vector charm parts all jumbled together in this thing. Why would Rusty build something like this? You worry too much. Less thinking, more smashing. We should head back to the Oasis and tell Rosie the device is disabled. A level up. I was expecting, you know, more to it, especially since the device was secured. So yeah, that was that. There's something else over there. You can see it, can't you? Over there on the left. So I have a feeling we're not done with this temple yet. I really like the 3D effect. I just noticed that. Look at that. That is really well done. They could have totally uh, cheesed that and you know, made this a perfectly 2D game, but no, they, they actually put a, the effort into this. Okay, so quick talk to Rosie and then well done. Oh, pardon me. Just a little celebratory firework. We managed to disable the thing that's causing the earthquakes. Excellent, you actually did it. Yeah, we did. Still no sign of Rusty though. Hmm, yeah, that uh, thing you call Vectorton changed him. Maybe it's down there among the remains. That doomsday device was apparently made by Vectorton technology. Oh no. I know what you're thinking. I don't want to go back there. You don't know what it's like there. You, you've not been there. What it's like to not have a will of your own. Oh, poor Finn. I've already come this far. I can't stop now. If you could show me the entrance, Finn. Why? Why can't you just go and wreck stuff instead? He brought down Vectortron. Rusty saved us. Dot, dot, dot. I'll get you there, but once you enter, you'll be on your own. Wow. That's deep. Almost feels like we're coming up to the end of the game already, but can't be that quick, right? But yeah, let's head back to town, uh, just have a replenish on everything, and say, as always, constructive feedback is greatly appreciated, either in the comments below, or if you don't really have anything to say but want to let, let me know that you've enjoyed or hated this, while well, the appropriate buttons are there, and subscribe if you see more of SteamWorld Dig 2 or my other content. As always, thank you for watching, and, well, I'll be back with more of uh, SteamWorld 2 and digging a lot, a lot deeper it seems because we barely scratched the surface.
well, maybe a little bit more than scratched, but yeah, we got a long ways to go.